New at six, the return of a Rockland woman's lost locket that holds her father's ashes. She says she lost it at the beach two months ago. She tells WBZ's Rachel Holt that she was playing in the water at the time when suddenly it was gone. And I always had it around my neck, and I never took it off. When Thomasina Lewis lost this locket on Nantasket Beach, she thought she would never see it again. But it was gone forever. You know, that was a piece of me that lost forever. She was stunned when her cousin reached out two months later, telling her the locket had been found by a situate resident named Richard Bonanno, who had posted his finding on social media. I, it was only down probably six, seven inches in the, in the sand, and I pulled out this heart-shaped locket. Richard had been walking on the beach with his metal detector and knew right away the necklace was special. So I brought it to a local Cohasta jeweler and I asked them what that locket was. And she told me it's a remains locket. It's whoever it belonged to, I'm sure they were missing it. He was right. Inside the locket are the ashes of Thomasina's father, who died of COVID-19 in November. I just miss him dearly. I think about him every day. Um, and when I lost it, 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 it just took a lot from me. So that meant even more that, that we were able to return this locket to, to this woman who just, who just was missing it so much. She was missing a part of her father always being with her. I'm thankful that Richard found my locket. It's let me know that my father's still here with me in spirit. And he's letting me know that everything's going to be okay. If you could see Richard, what would you say to him? Rich, I mean, deep down in my heart, I love you for finding my father's necklace, and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Just to see her smile and knowing that she's getting it back is, is, uh, is enough reward for me, just to know that, you know, that we got it back for her. Rachel Holt, WBZ News.